the end and a new beginning. If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. An ancient pastime just went cyber optic. addiction everywhere. The three color screen is just like real life. Play games like Morning Missile Crisis. Free the hostages. One-eyed monster war. Lightsaber struggle. Zip. Squirt. Market pull. Mortal sin and tonsil hockey. But be careful. Oh, I'm out of batteries in my army. Exorbio. Or link up your Exorbios for private sword fight battles. Oh, I wonder if that still does it. Exorbio, let the games commence. Exorbio. The tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing. You're now in the tight end zone. If someone's playing with a ball or two, we're there to talk about it. I'm your host, Derek. Today on the big show, clearing out more housing projects. <laughs> Girls in skirt, and we revisit the rivalry, the rivalry that never dies. Liberty City Cox and Beavers going at it again. Love it. I need that beer. It's all good in the general wards. Who is on the line? Why don't you boys ever talk about the real issue in sports today? The loss of tradition. I wore a leather helmet playing football. The left side of my face is paralyzed, but it was worth it. We won the game. I mean, my boy goes to high school, right? And he's actually given a choice of different sports to play. And there's only one sport. I know, it's ruining this country's traditions and history. I mean, I want him to be a big sports star so I don't have to work no more. He can afford all the drugs and hookers he wants. And he's only gone and started playing lacrosse. Ooh, look at me. I'm carrying my bag on a stick and wearing a skirt. Might as well teach my boy to hunt butterflies. Okay, I guess you're right. Go wrong. <laughs> it all depends how you look at things. Any race fans out there? Hey, any football fans? Soccer fans? Go home! We don't want you here! <laughs> Your game is terrible, and we don't win at it! Next caller. Hi, Derek. My name's Cole, and I'm a big racing fan. I tell you that where I'm from, there's nothing more exciting than getting shit-faced and going deaf in 110 degree heat. And watching cars go in a circle for several hours. Yeehaw! Yeah, hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on your car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife loves me to And half the cars are sponsored by bald men. Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, what in the name of my mother's cat is that all about? I mean, racing names should be sponsored by things that are family friendly. Like car liquor or cigarettes. Not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. What? Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. <laughs> this ain't Lonely Hearts. I mean, let's stop showering each other in golden sports drink and get this ball back in play. Hello, caller. Derek, that caller's talking about the biathlon. It's sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympic period years ago. Kicks swing at dabblers like Ancient Creek, people running with burning torches, throwing hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm gonna go throw hammers for a living? Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great. I have a gun. Wanna fight? Uh, it's distracting us from our primal urge to paint your face with war paint, whip yourself into a sweaty, psychotic Frankie, and then go annihilate and hospitalize complete strangers. Then you bang a bimbo on the sidelines. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Look, I loved high school football, and I love gymnastics. Hey, Jack, from my own. How come you don't talk about the best sport of all? Horse racing. I mean, tiny, angry people on horses? How can you go wrong? Hey, hey, I don't ride it any bigger than me. 
know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I never got in a rodeo, man. I mean, first off, why would you ride a bull? Go find a big girl. They, 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 they can use the attention. And, and that's all we have time for. Okay, hey, I'm Derek Zachary. Till next time, play safe, people. Go, baby, go team. You're listening to WCTR, or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. Enjoy listening to Mental Patients. Area 53 is next. Is your child really an alien? Has the future already happened somewhere else? And finally, is cheese the latest weapon in the battle against communism? We explore deeper, much deeper. I'm Marvin Trill. This is Area 53. Prepare to be appalled. Hello? Uh, I guess, hello. I would like to talk about a conspiracy. Okay. It starts with food and our toxic culture, chemicals in our bodies. We must flush them out, Marvin. Third, start by masticating. Did you say masturbating? Listen again, Marvin. My lipstick here, masticating vigorously. To really cleanse, you're going to have to do some yoga. The cleansing properties of doing yoga with the goes cannot be exaggerated. Marvin, it's time for your down dog to really have a game. I was wondering when my career would hit bottom, and now it's here, right before my eyes. And Stuart is on the line. I think everyone out there will agree that the Russians are in charge. Foreigners are behind that exorbio and El Dimi device to decrease our productivity and make our thumbs useless so our kids can't fire machine guns. I hear what you're saying about video games. People are dying every day of malaria. And it's all because of the messages planted in our minds from that degenitron in the 80s. Line 18. Hello. What are you talking about? I'm inside. Inside everything. Seeing everything. Remember the first time you did mushrooms? There are aliens that made it Aliens. I held them in my own hands. Everybody, go to the desert. Make their forgiveness. How do you know all this? Why should I make this up? The only thing I want to ask myself is how I can keep you off future shows. Oh, God. Uh, Kevin, hello. You're on the air. All officials are under my control, not the government's control. Why do you think they put me in solitary confinement for eight months? Because I can launch nuclear missiles by just whistling into a phone. Really? Great. Could you wipe out all the other radio stations in town for me? Hey, I don't do that anymore. I only use my powers for good. Ah, well, this isn't a cartoon or TV show. Let's get real for a second. The problem with people like you who have superpowers is that you really don't use them for good. If I had superpowers, everyone would be naked. And women signing autographs at conventions couldn't resist me. All right, going to the conspiracy line. Yeah, this is Bullseye. Okay. My name's Bullseye. Yes, yes, I got that. Hey, if you ever level that out for an autopsy? Uh, no, but that'd be really cool. I thought you were a DJ. You talk more about killing people with autopsy. I prefer electric cable. Tightly wound around people. Roads, watches, don't move today. We have a lot of aerospace fans and plenty of murderers who like the ship. Inside, I feel like it's time to close the pod bay door and take a loose. Until next time, reset your memory chip and don't believe what they tell you. This is Marvin Trill. You're leaving Area 53. Shiflam. That was Area 53, where reality is an alien concept. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. In the game of checkers in life, sometimes you make the wrong...